Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, and today I am playing Henchman Story on Xbox One. This is the very first time I'm playing this game. I don't really know what to expect. I think it's some type of a visual novel. Let's find out. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Another victory for the invincible Lord Bedlam. Excellent work, my brothers and sisters. At long last, the first phase of my master plan is complete. Now, gather the spoils of our conquest so that we may return to our fortress post haste. So, you want all these pet supplies stacked in the truck? Yes, stack the pet supplies in the truck. Okay, just double checking because there is a lot of dog food here, and I'm just not sure the resale value is worth the back strain, you know? Oh, and do you care about organization? Like, should we sort it by animal? Just load the boxes! Uh, if you please, that is calm. Right. Cool. Hey, Dave, can you help me with this? Oh, sure thing, buddy. Try lifting with your legs. I, I meant help me lift the box, dude. Oh, gosh, no. I'm a squad supervisor. I'm super. But I believe in you, Stan. You. Thanks. Great work on that box, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. Thanks, the leg thing helped, or this had better be worth it. I will just pick number one. I guess this is, yeah, some type of visual novel where you can choose your own adventure. Maybe I'll just pick, like, all the top ones and see where that gets me. Do you think it's possible to kill a man with a chew toy? Never mind. Let's just give it a try. Hey, fellas. Doing some late night shopping for Fido, huh? That's cute. What kind of mud is it? Looking at the two of you, I'd guess something like a Yorkie, maybe a teacup poodle. But that's way too much food for a dog that you could carry around in your. Oh, he's a super Saint Bernard. So yeah, he's huge, massively big, eats a ton. Chips are just, you know, gargantuan. Are you a dog person? Let me guess. Frenchie? Pitbull. But seriously. Step away from the truck and keep your hands off the kibble. This puppy chow heist is over. Oh gosh, oh, this is going to ruin Lord Bedlam's whole plan. <laughs> I've got to warn him. His plan? What about my plan? Hey, get back here. Thanks for your commitment to the team, buddy. You got this. Yeah, sure thing. Oh really? Why don't you show me exactly what you've got, pal? I do know some magic tricks. It's okay, I'm undercover. Oh, you don't want none of that. Let's see, I do know a few magic tricks. Some are even good. Have you got any cards? No? That's okay. I can work with change, too. Just no dimes. I've got fat fingers, so sometimes I drop those. Hey, what a coincidence. I know a magic trick, too. Oh, really? You know, it's always great to meet a fellow enthusiast. A lot of people make fun of it, but it takes real talent. What trick do you know? It's called Stop Stalling and Surrender Already. Heard of it? Doesn't ring a bell. Well, it just may ring yours in a second. So what's it gonna be, Sunshine? Are you gonna come quietly or not? <sighs> you know I'm not paid to take off, Janae. Well, here goes nothing. Attack from the left, attack from the right, or faint left, but attack right. Let's go left. We'll just choose option one and see what happens. Oh. A smacking. Henchman story. Way to go, Mark. I'm gonna skip this if it's, yeah, okay. Got an achievement, 25 points, tragic backstory, complete the intro. Nowadays, everybody wants to be a superhero. You see them posing gallantly on your newsfeed, and you're saying, sure, they're cool, but I bet I could be cool too. I'll just do some sit-ups, start drinking diet soda, and add some radiation to my coffee, a done deal. Powerless schlub.
That's me, my name is Stan, and I'm a henchman. To do, replace the phone again, buy ice packs, find a web fix password? Okay. Captain, whatever, wasn't the first person to punch me in the face, he probably won't be the last, at least I got a free six pack out of the deal. Hard to drink it with a broken jaw. Being a small-time supervillain outfit means we steal from pet supply warehouses and that if some animal-themed boomerang breaks your elbow, you have to wash food from a uniform out of yourself. Okay, this is weird. This is really weird. That's a lot of reading. This is my room. It's a little cozy, but it's nice as anything I had in college. Plus, I get it all to myself. Stan, I'm looking chipper as usual. Not everyone has your pep. You're not funny. Good to see you too. Well, Dave, we can't all have concentrated sunshine flowing through our veins. Why not? The world would be a better place if we did, don't you think? That's a debatable theory. quiz for you, buddy. What's your assignment for the day? Well, we don't have an operation, and today is Tuesday, so that means I'm guarding the door. Correct! You're assigned to guard the classified level 4 research chamber. <laughs> I'm glad that I could count on an experienced guy. Well, I've guarded it every Tuesday for years, so yeah, I guess you could call me experienced. I'm a regular... Not just any door. A level 4 door, and... Lord Bedlam has entrusted its protection to our team. It's by keeping that door safe, you keep Lord Bedlam's plan safe, and Lord Bedlam's plans are going to help all of us. Doesn't it feel great, you know, to be a part of something bigger than yourself? Yeah, it's fantastic. Well... I can't do such an important job smelling like this, so I'm gonna go take a look. Looking forward to it, buddy. Good morning, my loyal compatriots! Oh yeah! You're the greatest, Lord Bedlam! Thank you, thank you. I love the enthusiasm. I love you, Lord Bedlam! All right, maybe just a little bit less enthusiasm. Teeny bit. Sorry, Lord Bedlam! Yes, well... <clears throat> Today is a normal Tuesday, so you should all know your daily assignment. If you've somehow forgotten, consult the laminated schedule you received at the beginning of the quarter. If you lost your schedule, see Sam Leonhardt in HR and she'll make a new one for you.
but the printing fee will come out of your paycheck, just so you know. I mean, the laminated after all. That's not free. We do have some injury updates for you today. First, the good news. It looks like John Kest will walk again after that encounter with Muscle Master. I know we were all pulling for it. The bad news, Mace apparently has no idea who he is following his seventh concussion at the hands of the Shrouded Avenger, so he will not be returning to work. His family has received a food pantry. For some light affair, we do have a birthday today. Congratulations to the Bacon Bruiser! who joined us in June after that unfortunate waffle iron incident forced the breakfast bandit into retirement. There will be some mini cupcakes in the East break room to celebrate. Please feel free to treat yourself to one between shifts. And it looks like that wraps up our morning announcements. So let's go out there and work together to make this a great day. The secret cabals, juntas, and unfairly moderated LARPing message boards that manipulate our society must all be destroyed! They will pay for their crimes in blood! And when my master plan comes to fruition, we shall be the ones to exact the toll! Then we shall rip out the diseased heart of modern society! and replace it with a newer, better heart of our own making! A heart that actually enforces the rules about period-appropriate clothing and has no limits on caps lock usage! So says the invincible Lord Bedlam! Happy Tuesday, everyone. Go get him. What the hell is happening? This is so weird. How's the door doing, Dave? Oh, it's quiet so far, luckily. You're one minute and 35 seconds late, you know. If you were eight minutes and 26 seconds later, I'd have to mark it down. Noted. I'll remember to teleport. You can teleport? Yep, but only once a week, and only if I have a breakfast burrito with mango habanero sauce on it. Think you could hook me up? You know? Well, gosh, Dan, that's outside of our team's budget. But if it will keep you on schedule... Thanks, buddy. Oh, and it helps if I get the one with the green packaging. You know, the one with the cactus mascot that wears the little sombrero. I'll... <laughs> I'll see what I can do! I gotta go check on the new guy first, though. Uh, what was... Not sure, but he insists on calling himself Sith Slayer. He's taking this whole henchman thing very seriously. Well, of course he is! It's serious work, Stan. So, be sure to stay vigilant and keep an eye on... You got it, boss. That's me. Super vigilant, but not the vig How's your day go? Hold on, let me check. Yep, door's still there. So my sole task of standing beside it and waiting for someone to actually use it remains right on track. Well, that's just swell. Was well, there anything I can do to help you out? Maybe get the facility crew down here to give that door the old spit shine. I think the door's shiny enough for now. But do you mind if I ask you something? No. Sure thing, buddy. Daily chats with the team are an important part of being a squad supervisor, after all. Watching anything interesting? How's the online dating scene? Excited for game night? Wondering if you found anything to watch lately. I'm all... Oh gosh, tons of things. Let's see, this week I just finished that new miniseries on Captain Commodore. Or... Was it Captain... Wait, you use your free time watching a show about a super... Well, of course, Stan. 
valuable research. Know your enemy and stay true to yourself, and you'll make your dreams come true. That's it. That's not the quote. What quote? Never mind. I just don't know how you can watch superhero stuff after spending all day at a job where we're constantly thinking about superheroes. Really? And I thought you did that too. I mean, you studied history back in college, right? Well, yeah, but first of all, those shows aren't really history. Even historical textbooks involve a certain level of interpretation, much less a show sponsored by a live... Point being, I admire your dedication. Obviously, I would just rather watch something different from my work. Don't want to dilute my passion for henchmening, you know? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Lord Bedlam's all about passion for the cause. But uh, what kind of stuff do you watch instead? Historical dramas, comedies, or cooking shows. Historical dramas are my favorite. I mean, actual historical dramas. Set further... Why do they have to be further in the past? Well, what's wrong with the present? I'm already in the present, man. I live my whole life there. I don't need more of it. If anything, I just need to get away from it for a while. Go far enough in the past and there are no superheroes, no supervillains, no loans I need to pay off, nothing. It's just a night. Nice Gee, uh, I don't know, Stan. I guess I just don't think I've gotten much to escape from. I'm helping to change the world, and Lord Bedlam makes sure I'm taken. So I guess you could cuff me to a radiator and throw away the key because I- I meant an emotional escape, Dave. You know, from my worries and all that. Like, oh no, what if I don't contribute enough to Lord Bedlam's incredible crusade? That sort of- Ah, of course. Well, those kind of worries are normal, Stan. Even I get them. So, if it helps you with that, then I suppose it can't be that bad. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Lunch time. Oh, you can hit the left. Okay, so you hit A. This is going to sound dumb, I guess, but I, you can hit A to move forward, but then you can hit the left bumper. I was just hitting all the other buttons on the controller to see if they did anything. But the left bumper actually goes back, so if you want to go back and reread something, you can. You can't go forward, though, with the right bumper. I guess you can just button mash the A button. Let's go with the bologna surprise. Let's go try the bologna surprise. You got it. Surprise. Yes, casserole. Wait, what? Are you what? You say you want a surprise, so I see a surprise, ain't you? I mean, technically, but those two dishes are exactly the same. Why even give us a choice if it doesn't? The same. You little shit. What do you know about the art of cooking, huh? You think you're some five-star chef or something? Just cause they look the same don't mean they taste the same! But... You're right. I don't know anything about cooking. I'm sure... And... Thank you for the... And Thank you for the meal, Master Chef Antonio Giamatti. It's a star. Next! Come on, Oberon! Get a move on! I know they got lines in England. Don't you pretend you don't know how it works because you call it a tubery too or something. Come on. Okay, issue two, Operation Day. So, if I hit start, I guess I can save. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, you can get rid of the icon if you hit the uh, the select button or the menu button. I go. This is probably load. Okay, so here's how you load. You hit start, and then you go back home. Yes. So I just wanted to stream a little bit of Henchman Story because I wasn't sure what it. Oh, the extras pop up. Let's see what this is. Oh, you get some some panels, I guess. That's something. It's a lot of extras. Look at this. Two pages. Music, here's a music player if you're into that. And back to the screenshot. So, yeah, I just wanted to stream some of Henchman story here because I wasn't sure what it is. Got it for review. I still want to play it some more. Very, uh, It's really not a game. It's just a visual novel that's based on humor. So uh, you got a little taste of it there. Hope that makes some sense if you were thinking about checking this game out. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. -A -A I write for a site called MyGamer.com. I blog at a site called SquallSnake.com. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.